I just found out that Gravity Sketch supports mixed reality capture. I think this could be super powerful because it gives you a way to do MRC or mixed reality capture uh, from the Quest wirelessly to your PC. And I can't wait to see what everyone does with this. So let's get started with going from Quest to PC via OBS. And let me know in the comments if you'd like me to cover Rift. It's similar but slightly different, but I could probably make another video on that too. Now the first thing you'll do is download the Oculus Mixed Reality Capture tool. I'll put a link in the description. If you click on uh, download MRC software here and agree to the terms, you'll get an app that you can put wherever you want. I put it on the desktop. So I'm gonna open that up here and click get started, agree, and then pick my headset. When I hit continue, um, there's a little link here, kinda hard to see. If I click that, it's gonna open up a new browser window. That browser window gives me a link to download the app that I need for the headset itself and that'll sync with the app on the PC so we can send that camera data back and forth. So I'm gonna click download on here, which you don't see because I already did it. Just make sure you're logged in and so it knows what headset to send it to. Now go into the headset and just open up that app you downloaded. I thought about casting it, but it's a really simple app. Um, so there's no real point in showing it. It's basically just a locked view that shows your IP address and whether or not you're connected. So I'm gonna click search for device and since I'm running that app on my Quest right now, um, it did find it. And it's important to note, you need to be on the same IP address. So if you see a difference here and on your headset, then that's the problem. You need to either be on the same Wi-Fi or you're, you need to be plugged into the, the same router that's producing your Wi-Fi. Um, I had trouble with a mesh network uh, creating new IP addresses and I had to use a different uh, Wi-Fi source in order to fix that. Um, so now I'm gonna calibrate my camera and um, I'm, that's gonna be a new calibration. And when I hit continue here, I'm gonna pick my webcam and uh, click begin calibration. So now there's a mini game where you match up the controllers to the position uh, that they provide as an image. And uh, if it goes yellow, that means your headset cannot see it. So just uh, move your headset so you can always see the controllers. And uh, we'll just go through uh, all of these one by one. And in the next step, we can adjust the calibration if there's any issues with it. You need to do this, this step 10 times. With that step complete, you end up in a window where you can see how close the track is. And it looks pretty good to me. Uh, but if you want to make any adjustments, just scroll down and you've got your field of view, translation, rotation, and you can line those controllers up a little bit better. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and click Save to Headset. Now it says calibration complete and all we need to do is generate an OBS scene collection. That's going to give us the default settings we need in OBS. So I'm going to click that. I already uh, have one here so I'll just replace it but I named it Quest OBS Scene Collection and I'll click save. Um, I'm replacing it in my case and then we can hop into OBS to do our composite. So you're in OBS. Uh, it's going to look like this when you first start out. And now you want to import that scene collection. So go to scene collection, import, and hit the overflow button here and just find the one on the desktop that you were creating earlier. I'm gonna click import and it didn't do anything. So I need to click on scene collection and go find it. So this would be Quest MRC that I'm looking for. I've done this a couple of times so I have duplicates here. If I click Quest MRC one, you'll see that I have a foreground and a background layer and a video capture device sandwiched in the middle. So you'll want to, um, you'll probably turn off the foreground and turn on that video capture device. And um, by double clicking that, uh, you can select your, uh, your camera. Um, and in this case, it's my uh, webcam. And I'm gonna hit okay. Now I happen to be green screening this, but you really don't have to. And you can also generate a green screen. It's just a little bit lower quality, uh, but you can do that with an app like Chroma Capture. So uh, now uh, with the foreground and the background layers, you want to, um, you know, it's, it's got a green screen here. It's looking for that, that content from the app. Uh, so go into the headset and open Gravity Sketch. And once the app is open, all you need to do is double click on this virtual camera thing right here inside background or foreground, doesn't matter which one. Double click on that and then uh, it's already got the IP address and the port uh, set up. And so if you click connect to MRC enabled content, um, then it's going to find the game. Um, and so, so if you hit OK, um, you'll notice now, um, I happen to be uh, on a green screen again, you don't need to be. 
but uh, if I draw now drawing in mixed reality, uh, so um, I turn the foreground layer off here, so I'm going to turn that back on, and I can just uh, draw directly uh, in 3D space. I can also reach out, you know, grab this. I'm about to start having fun with this. Um, so, uh, so yeah, that that's Gravity Sketch uh, mixed reality. Um, wanted to keep this short, so um, more excited to see what you guys do with it than uh, than showing my squiggly lines. But you know, let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer any questions. And um, yeah, also really excited uh, to to see anything you want to share. Um, so uh, yeah, thanks for checking this out and. Um, yeah, see you in the next one.